हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सम नंबर 11 ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 11.6 फॉर द प्रीवियस पार्ट प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक विल बी देयर सो हियर इन सम नंबर 11 इफ पी इज द लेंथ ऑफ परपेंडिकुलर फ्रॉम ओरिजिन टू द लाइन एंड अल्फा इज द एंगल which is perpendicular makes with the positive direction of x axis then sketch and write the equation of the line here the first one when p equal to 5 and alpha equal to here 135 degree okay p equal to 5 and alpha equal to here 135 degree so suppose this one is your y axis this one is x axis and as here alpha equal to 135 degree and you have to draw a rough sketch so first draw a 135 degree so suppose this one as here 135 degree that is 135 okay and now draw a straight line in this way okay so this is a straight line and here that only equal to p that is a perpendicular height and that is 5 okay so here p equal to 5 so according to the formula you know that as here p equal to 5 and alpha equal to 135 so here the formula x cos alpha plus y sin alpha that one equal to p so as here x cos alpha means here 135 degree plus y sin again alpha means 135 degree and p equal to here 5 now you can write down this one as 135 180 minus 45 okay here also y sin 180 minus 45 that one equal to 5 okay so as here cos here 180 minus 45 that means you can write down this one as minus cos 45 degree and this one here y sin 45 degree now you know the value so that one equal to minus x by root 2 here y by root 2 that one equal to 5 so here y minus x that one equal to 5 root 2 as your answer now the next one number 2 number 2 here p equal to 1 and alpha equal to 90 degree so in that case here x cos and here 90 degree plus y sin 90 degree that one equal to 1 so cos 90 means here 0 so that means x into 0 plus y into 1 that one equal to 1 so you can write down this one as y equal to 1 as your answer it's very easy okay now let's move on to sum number 12 find the equation of the line for which p equal to 2 and here sin alpha equal to 4 by 5 so as here sin alpha equal to 4 by 5 then you can easily find out the value of cos alpha and that is 1 minus sin square alpha by trigonometry so here 1 minus 16 by 25 so that one equal to root over 9 by 25 that means here cos alpha equal to plus minus 3 by 5 okay and now you know the formula x cos alpha plus y sin alpha that one equal to p okay so when cos alpha equal to plus 3 by 2 okay when cos alpha equal to plus 3 by 5 not 2 then here you can write down x into 3 by 5 plus y into 4 by 5 that one equal to 2 okay so that means here 3x plus 4y that one equal to 10 that is the first answer and when cos alpha equal to minus 3 by 5 then here x into minus 3 by 5 plus y into 4 by 5 that one equal to 2 so that means here 4y minus 3x that one equal to 10 that is your second answer first one and the second one next sum number 13 find the equation of the line through here minus 2 1 in symmetrical form when the angle made by the line with positive direction of x axis that is 45 degree 
okay so here theta equal to 45 degree eh? okay and the line passes through the point minus 2 1 using symmetrical form the equation of the line that is x minus here the x1 x1 means here minus 2 so x minus minus 2 divided by here cos theta that means cos 45 degree that one equal to y minus here 1 because y1 that is 1 here and then here divided by sine theta that means sine 45 degree and that one equal to r okay that is the symmetrical form x minus x1 by cos theta that one equal to y minus y1 by sine theta that one equal to r so you can write down this one as x plus 2 1 by root 2 that one equal to y minus 1 1 by root 2 that one equal to r that is your final answer okay now let's move on to next problem sum number 14 a straight line passing through the point here the point 2 3 okay has inclination 45 degree and intersect the line the another line here 2x minus 3y plus 9 that one equal to 0 at the point p find the distance of ap okay so first here let the coordinate of point p that is x y okay so here this is the diagram suppose this one is the red line here the inclination that is here what 45 degree most probably yes 45 degree suppose this one is point a you know the coordinate that is 2 3 and here uh, another straight line this straight line here 2x minus 3y plus 9 equal to 0 that one is the intersecting point that's been p coordinate here x y okay so first you have to draw a straight line here perpendicular line and again i draw another perpendicular line okay now this is the parallel line with this one okay so as here suppose this one is here 2 okay this one is here 2 and this one is that, that one equal to 3 and as here this one equal to x the whole one is x then definitely this line will be x minus 2 or you can write down x minus x1 okay x minus x1 and the next line will be there here y minus y1 that means here you can write down y minus 3 as here y1 equal to 3 so you can write down here y minus 3 so that one equal to y minus 3 because here y1 equal to what y1 equal to 3 okay so here the symmetrical form x minus x1 divided by cos theta that one equal to y minus y1 then again sin theta that one equal to r okay so as here x minus x1 so you can write down here x minus x1 means here 2 so x minus 2 and that one equal to cos 45 degree here next one y minus 3 here sine 45 degree that one equal to r okay so that means you can write down here x minus 2 1 by root 2 that one equal to y minus 3 1 by root 2 and that one equal to r clear so as here x minus 2 uh, x minus 2 by 1 by root 2 that one equal to r so you can write down here x minus 2 equal to r by root 2 that means x equal to here 2 plus r by root 2 okay x equal to here 2 plus r by root 2 similarly you can write down y equal to here 3 plus r by root 2 okay so now you know the value of x and y so just put down the value of x and y in this equation that means the equation the another state line that is here 2x minus 3y plus 9 that one equal to 0 so here just put down the value here 2 into 2 plus r by root 2 in the place of x and 3 into 3 plus r by root 2 then plus 9 and that one equal to 0 okay so here you can easily find out the value of what the value of r so 4 plus here 2r by root 2 here 9 sorry mine 9 minus and here 3r by root 2 plus 9 that one equal to 0 so 9 9 cancel out so here you can write down 4 and here 2r 2r by root 2 minus 3r by 2 so you can write down this one as minus r by 2 that one equal to 0 so here 4 equal to r by root 2 
that means r equal to 4 root 2 okay and that is your final answer now the last one sum number 15 so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel so here in what direction should a line be drawn through the point so here the point a and that is here 1 2 so that it point of intersection of the line that is here x plus y that equal to 4 is at a distance of root 6 by 3 from the given point okay so first here let the line passing through the point a 1 2 makes an angle theta okay with the positive direction x axis and let this point meet the given line at the point p where ap equal to where ap equal to root 6 by 3 okay so this is the axis here this is a straight line and this one is the another suppose this point is the point p and that one here the point a you have to find out here ap and sorry here ap equal to root 6 by 3 this one is angle theta okay so now here the equation of the line x minus 1 by cos theta that one equal to here y minus 2 sin theta and here the value of r that is ap that means root 6 by 3 okay root 6 by 3 now the point p so here the point p first you have to find out the value of x so here the value of x will be so x minus 1 cos theta that equal to root 6 by 3 so here x minus 1 equal to root 6 cos theta by 3 so x equal to 1 plus root 6 cos theta by 3 okay that is the value of x in this way you can find out the value of y that is 2 plus root 6 sin theta by 3 okay so the coordinate of p that one equal to 1 plus root 6 cos theta by 3 comma then 2 sorry here 2 plus root 6 sin theta by 3 that is the coordinate of the p okay and as here p lies on the straight line p lies here on the straight line that is x plus y equal to 4 so just put down the value here 1 plus cos theta by 3 that is x then plus y y means 2 plus root 6 sin theta by 3 and that one equal to 4 okay so here uh, root 6 by 3 is common so it becomes cos theta plus sin theta that one equal to 4 and here 2 plus 1 it's 3 so 4 minus 1 and that one equal to here 1 so you can write down this one as cos theta plus sin theta that one equal to 1 and here 1 into 3 by root 6 okay so now squaring both side so cos square theta plus sin square theta plus 2 cos theta sin theta that one equal to 9 by 6 so cos square theta plus sin square theta that one equal to 1 so you can write down 2 sin theta cos theta that one equal to 9 by 6 minus 1 okay and that one equal to here 3 by 6 that means here half so here you can write down 2 sin theta cos theta is the formula of sin 2 theta so sin 2 theta equal to half okay and you know that half means here sin 30 degree so that means 2 theta equal to 30 degree so here theta equal to 15 degree okay theta equal to 15 degree or you can also write down this one half means sin 2 theta that equal to half so you can write down this one as sin 150 degree okay so in that case here 2 theta equal to 150 degree and that implies theta equal to here 75 degree so first one or second one 